Hello mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, welcome back to Punch Club. Um, okay, so when I ended the previous episode, I started getting ready for the next one, pressed OK and a cutscene started playing. I tried to capture it on recording, because I wasn't actually recording at the time, quickly had to sort of hit my quick record button. So hopefully I've at least got the majority of that in. Um, I'm going to have to assume, however, that something somewhere went horribly wrong and you didn't see any of that. Basically, a cutscene played, a guy popped up uh, in the background with a red eye. The same red eye as the guy who did do a shoot on our daddy man. So presumably that's the, the end goal. Find Mr. Red Eye, or whatever the hell they call him, and do a, do a punch on, on, on daddy man killer. I'm assuming that's the, the end goal of, the, of this, uh, this whole thing. So, we've completed the goal of of the bloody fight. I need to prove something. Ultimately, reach the yellow zone. I think it should take you a while. Okay. Oh, right. I haven't actually looked at goals at all. Okay. So, what's this? Okay, so apparently there's another goal to get out of our poo. Go on, speak to Casey and there's a goal to get out of him, which presumably comes from working for him. So if I get to level 5, something should happen there. Oh, yeah, that is. Okay, so this. Does this story. Full forward? Right, okay, so. Also, not all the paths are shown yet either. Okay. So I suspect if I. As I move along here, then that will perhaps open something up in this full forward section, which then opens up something in the chop. Okay. Cool. Can I do anything else in here, or is it literally just that? Okay. Mr. Y, who is also who flips a coin. Okay. I've seen my character occasionally spontaneously flip a coin as well. Can I speak to Mr. Y? I would be just like you if I hadn't burnt my face. I know we've got a missing brother somewhere. Is 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 it Mr. Y? Is that what this is building up to? Is that why he disappeared after the Oh, hang on. I had a thought. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to remember the opening cutscene. We clearly had a brother. We were given an amulet. The brother presumably was as well. But after Mr. Redman did do a bad shoot on our daddy man, we were both behind the garbage thing, whatever it was, the bin. Let's call it what it is, it's a bin. We're hidden behind the bin, uh, but I was the only one who ran over to see our daddy man's dying breath. So that implies the brother went with Mr. Red Eye. He either chased after him or Mr. Red Eye just went, yeah, sure, you'll do. I'll just have picked him up and wandered off with him. After looking at us and going, you clearly don't know what you're doing. Okay, so... Okay, so I, I very much doubt Mr. Y is our long-lost brother. Stop looking at him. Stop it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm trying to preempt the story. <laughs> Who cares? We'll get there eventually. Right. So that's that. Done. How am I looking? Health's low. Food's getting low. Energy and mood are high, though. Let's... Let's earn a bit of money over there. Yeah, we'll, we'll bust to work because we're going to earn that money back again. Okay, job startle. I think it's probably wise... No, end of day five. Cool. Yeah, yeah, keep going. I think it would probably be wise to not train strength too much at the gym and use this as our strength building exercise. Earned a bit of money. Let's. Okay, we'll keep going doing this. Okay, we're tired and or hungry. Right. I don't think I've got much food in the fridge, so let's bus over to the store. Hey, Mr. Apu Man, give me some food. Uh, okay, we may as well invest in that one. Sure, why not? Have another one. And a pizza and soda. Yeah. To the house. Okay, we'll take the bus with the money to burn it now. Ah, oh, I don't remember this thing being here before. What? Oh. What? 
Oh, this thing. Um. What? What are you doing? The hell is this? Looks like a TV. What TV looks like this? What? Oh. Goal complete. Apparently. Okay. Well. Oh, Jesus wept. What? I don't. What? What? You ain't the only one, mister. Whatever. Right, let's have a pizza. A bit of food. That means I can have a nap. I've basically eaten so I can sleep. And then once that's gone back up a bit, there we are. Now we shall have our lovely, delicious Moo Cow Delight. Nom. How much does that take as well? Quite a bit. Let's just top it up with a drink. Cool. Okay, so I pressed a button there. It didn't really do much. I can't do it again. Oh, right. So, what's in my hands? So I can do push-ups. Do boxes. What? What is the point of this? What am I achieving by kicking a box? Okay. And I can't really interact with anything else, it would seem. Can I go outside? I appear to be trying to do something back here. Whatever. Let's do some push ups while we're here. Okay, I think there's another all rounder. Okay, I need to get my agility back up. Did I? Come on, agility. Okay, let's stop that because it's losing effectiveness. Um, okay. Did I apply? I haven't applied for that yet. Okay. Or did I already apply and I can't do it? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's. Let's go back to the gym. Uh, well, that's it. I want to spend more time in the gym. As much time in the gym as I can. Yep, here's the money. So, this one was... I can't remember what does what. Okay, let's, let's try the punching bag. See what that does. I'm going to at some point have to make a, a little list of what does what here. So that's an all-rounder again. So I think the... The more skills that get affected, the less effective for each one they are. So if I was to go to uh, the punch bag, for example. I'm just waiting for this to lose a little bit of effectiveness. So this just just blue. So it, I think it presumably does that more per... either more per ball or the balls come more frequently. So effectively just boosting that up. Oh, you're hungry again. I know that the muscular types metabolize quickly, but come on, I don't eat this much. I spend most of my day sat in front of the computer watching My Hero Academia. Let's go do some running. That's literally what I've been doing the last few days, actually binge watching uh, My Hero Academia. If any of you out there are fans, I've, uh, I, I read quite a lot of manga um, and watch. A fair bit of anime. I, t I do prefer to read than to watch, to be honest. Yeah, keep running while I'm on. So I was familiar with the story before I uh, even got started on it. Um, yeah, it's a good show. Mostly. I think it's got a few rather large flaws. The biggest problem being that the main character, uh, who goes by the name of Deku, was his hero name. Um, who I'll just call that because it's easier than trying to pronounce all his other things. Yeah, Deku's the main character. Um, for those who are unfamiliar with the the show... No, that's not working already. Stop. Okay, I have to do that for a certain amount of time. Stop. 
Um, main premise of the show is that it's in the future and most of the population has developed superpowers sort of naturally. Uh, okay, I'm not going to get more out of this guy. Oh, what's this say? Oh, I've got a fight today. Yeah, sure, I'm in the best possible position. Hex or the macho? I beat you already, didn't I? I don't think your stats have either have been ch changed much either. Alright, fight. So, yes, at a random point in the future, humanity just started getting superpowers. It became incredibly common over the course of four or five generations, um, to the point that 80% of the population has superpowers by the, uh, the main po by the point of ass uh, of the story that we get to. Unfortunately, the main character, Deku, uh, is born without a superpower. Um, so, because everyone's got superpowers, except Deku, uh, the job of a uh, superhero effectively gets created, because why the hell not, basically. So Deku doesn't have a superpower, but really wants to be a hero. Uh, but not having a superpower means it's, it's not going to happen. Um, which I think it would have been quite interesting if they'd continued the story as it was, uh, with that as a premise, but we'll get to that in a minute. What happens is that the greatest superhero, by the name of All Might, turns up and says, Oh, you, little Deku fellow, you don't have a superpower, do you? Oh, that's a pity. Here you go, have mine! Oh, and by the way, now you've got that, um, yeah, eventually you're going to have to fight a super bad... Never mind. Tatty bye! So yeah, that's the premise, is the best superhero turns up and goes, here, have a superpower. And then sods off. Well, he doesn't sod off, he actually does stick around and trains him a bit, but that's, that's not important. The, um, the important bit is he gets the superpower so he can go join a hero academy, which is basically a high school where everyone's got superpowers, because everyone has superpowers. But they're training to join this hero, of course, you see. Hey, you there, fella. I'm Roy. That fight was awesome. Really awesome, mate. Seriously, this is Australia. You know what winning big is? I just won big on a fight, fella. And I want to thank you. Let's go to the bar and have a drink. My treat. Oh, so I can go to the bar now. Maybe I really need to have some steam for a fight. Sure, why not? Okay. So I can go to the bar? Or am I going to go to the bar when I feel? Oh, I have a friend now. So is he going to take me there? Or? Oh. That's two or maybe five beers. Okay. Nice evening, right? Uh, yes. I completely lost track of what I was saying about my hero academia, so we'll get to that in a minute. What do you know about self destruction? What the hell is going on? So, for a self improvement, making your muscles big, man. I think there's no. You have a strange philosophy, friend. I'm not even going to bother reading this stuff out. It's... Yeah, I don't know what he wants either. I'm assuming he's going to introduce a gambling mechanic, and he's saying, if you throw a fight here or there, you'll earn some money. What on earth are you on about? Win five fights on the street. Oh, I think that... Right, so if I wander around, there's a chance I might... Test myself. Oh, so it's just a... Klaus. I thought I was talking to... It. Never mind. Three, three, and five. Oh, I think this isn't going well for me. We'll see. But while he's doing that, we can... Uh, we can talk about My Hero Academia some more. So, where did I get to? So, All Might's giving him a superpower. Just said, here you go, have this one. So he goes and joins this class, and all the members of the class have got these really awesome, or interesting, at the very least, superpowers. So, one of them can make explosions come out of his hands, one of them's invisible, one of them has, like, hair that he can pull off, it's, like, grape-shaped and sticky goo balls kind of things, which is quite interesting. So, in this world of superheroes, where... You know, everyone has this unique ability with his own strengths and weaknesses. What power does our 
mate, does our little Deku get? He has the power to punch good. That's it. In fact, even no, All Might had the ability to punch good. Deku does not. Deku has the ability to punch all right. And whenever he punches, he breaks his arms. It's, yeah. The end result is basically that Deku is the least interesting character in the entire show. He's not uninteresting. Some of the stuff around him is very interesting to say. And it's good to use him as a, a starting point for the show to revolve around. But, you know, every other character comes along and they're, they're, all, all the characters have sort of got lots of, uh, of depth to them. Um, but as I said, Deku is just kind of dull. Like his abilities are kind of boring. For most of the first season, he can't really fight because, as I said, he, he throws a punch and just breaks his arm instead. Um, it does get better in the second season. The third season, he can actually start fighting in a semi-decent way. So, yeah, it is, it is. Don't get me wrong; it's good. If you haven't seen it already, it's perhaps worth a look. But uh, yeah, as I said, I find the main character kind of boring. Oh, I can sign up for yeah, sign up for another five. Why not? So, I think it's because the the just the basic super strength ability is just so common in, in pretty much any any media these days. Oh wow, I have ten of these things now. Uh, let's get another active skill. So e even in um, other shows where just the ability to where the the, the main superpower isn't. Can I get that one? Yet? Oh, I need to get more of Okay, so I need to save up for those. Um, yes, even so, in, a, in other shows where the main ability of, of the character isn't, you know, punch good, they can usually do that anyway. So, Goku in Dragon Ball, for example, he punched good, but he can also fly and blast lasers out of his hands and. Uh, you know, blind the enemy and move so fast that you actually leave a, an after image behind. You know, he's got lots of other things that you know are, are built up by the fundamental punch good. You know, ability as it were. Um, or if you go to something like One Piece, his ability is he's made of rubber, but he also punch good because you know it's, it's a primary attack. But you know, it's he. It's, it's all the things around that that make it interesting. So just having the ability of Oh, he, he can punch. What? What can I do with these bins? <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, I've had a few drinks and now I'm eating bin burgers. Great. Oh, Christ on a badger. What am I doing with my life? Okay. Let's... Oh. Uh, Jeez. Let's let's get a meal from Mick because he's nearby. Hey Mick, feed us. Do you want to buy me dinner? I know that you have money. Oh, so I can only get food from him when I don't have money. Oh, right. Okay. I thought we'd go to dinner because you were closer, but alright, we'll go to the grocery store then, you cheap bastard. Apu! I require Mukau Delight. Uh, oh, I've got three of those. Okay, now I don't have money. Okay, just go home. We'll take the bus, save ourselves a little bit of time. Oh god, it's gone crazy. I'll try to turn... Oh, you mean this thing? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Now it's pointing at that one? What? Went up five minutes. I was robbed by some damn bandits in animal masks. Am I going to be a crime fighter? Do I get to fight crime now? They stop now. Sorry, I just cracked my finger. Oh, quick. Weirdest thing, they stole the cat food lesson strings. What? They stole the cat food? 
and wrote turd on it. What? I don't... I'm assuming this is like part of the DLC stuff or something, but I don't know what's going on. Okay. I thought that was saying that it was a crime fighter -y thing, so it was saying that if I went to there I could fight crime? I don't know. Hello? Hey kid, have you got a kit now? You're... Okay, so if I save money, I can buy stuff from the gym. Okay, that makes sense. How do I do that? Oh, but so I'm walking around with too much money, there's a chance of me getting robbed. Okay. Right, so if I get a load of money, I can go to there and buy stuff from the cash. Okay, cool. But first, we need to get some food up in us. What? Why? Why have I taken this? It hurts me. It makes me sad. <laughs> it's got some decent... It's got some decent... Why have I... Why did I pick this up? Why can't I throw it all... Oh, Christ. Nap time. Noble, you're a strange bastard. <laughs> okay, I need... That'll do. Go eat some more. I have to work out a bit in the... Uh, in the garage. I've only got a couple of hours, but I don't want these things to drop too much more. So I figure if I get a bit of this in now... Give them a boost, they'll all then drop when the, the day ends. Hopefully it won't affect me too badly. So yeah, everything's dropped back down to there. But, we can manage. We'll just keep doing this for a bit. Just get everything back up to the, uh, the next level. Come on, get up to four. Uh, it's less effective now. There we go, that'll loop. Okay, my money is very low. Let's go to the cafe, because it's just over across the corner, and deliver some pizzas, just get some money that way. Uh, deliver pizza. Oh, uh, right, you do your job. There we are, there's 30 monies. Right, I think I'm going to try and save up and get some gym equipment. So, this doesn't seem to be giving me any stat boosts. Food's going down a little. I'm guessing that this is less labour intensive than the other one, so I can do it for longer. I'm guessing. Purely, I guess. Hey, give me a pizza. Ah, this is what I want. So, pizza gives me 20 my foods. And recalls me that shrimp pizza makes me happier. But it doesn't actually give me any more food. Well, my happiness is fine, mate. Just give me some food. Yeah, I'll have another one then. Hang on a second. Fourteen dollars for a slice of pizza? I don't get how good your pizza is, mate. It's basically tomatoes, cheese, and bread. It's just a hot sandwich that no one closed properly. Fourteen dollars for a sandwich. That's absurd. You're a bad man, Mr. Casey, man. What's new, Casey? Cypress. Good luck with that. I hear Cypress is lovely most times of the year. Ask about the special pizza. Why is your pizza so popular? Indian spice, is it? Oh, yeah, that would do it. Makes it different. But a regular customer makes pizzas with extra spices. Want to try some? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Here it is, take one. Spicy pizza. Ooh. Oh, you're a special order that needs delivering. I can do that for you, buddy. Okay. Hang on a bloody minute. Pizza in the sewer. You hear a scary noise. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. I'm punching a crocodile. Teenage mutant crocodile. I don't know if he's a teenager actually. So he's a humanoid mutant boxing crocodile. Great. And his stats are all significantly higher than mine, so. Uh, what armor? I'm probably going to lose this. We... Oh, I've got another skill! Uh, okay, kick again. Alright, do the fighty fight. This won't end well for me. Either. Let's just up the speed. No point hanging around with this. And once again, it occurs to me I've forgotten to sort my timer out, so I'm going to have to guess again at how long this is going on for. What about 20 pounds of this? Um... My health has gone down further, but his stamina has gone down, so I think I'll probably be able to get a fair few. When stamina hits zero, I'll get a lot of damage in at once. There we are. Yep, because that's just staying at zero now, so I'm grinding down. It's nice if this street fight just to every now and then pause so that the uh, all the characters can catch their breath. Still going. Well, no point changing anything at this point. I'm basically having to work on the, the energy. My stamina goes down less than his, so then I can just get some real hard hits in at the uh, when his stamina hits zero. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to win this. Which I was not expecting. I look at the stats, and actually, there's a little bit more to it than just those base numbers, isn't there? Yeah, victory. I punched a crocodile to death. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That was a good fight. Come back later. My brother Mark would like to fight me. Okay. So we've got Bill Mark. It's not quite as memorable as Leonardo and Donatello. And that is it. Ah, that's a very obnoxious noise. Okay. I think that'll do. I, I don't think I can top Bin Burgers and Humanoid Mutant Boxing Crocodiles. Right, so, yeah, you flex away, Noble. You flex away. And as for you, listeners, bye.